Media Maker here. This video is uh, going to be about peppers, tomatoes, a little bit of onion, um, talk about soil and water a little bit. So here's the uh, first hydroponic pepper, bell pepper, and it's doing quite good. Let me show you the root structure. And this is basically since the last video of it. It had little four little roots sticking down and that was about all she had. These two were just planted or transplanted tonight in the hydroponics. They were sitting in a solution with hydrotin, hyd uh, hydrogen, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, I go to two different hydroponics shops and they each pronounce it different, so go figure. Uh, this pepper here has been under uh, a combination of three small compact fluorescent lights and in soil and this one in soil is been under the benefit of 8000 lumens same lights we have here I've got them raised right now so I could do this video but uh, that's what they've been benefiting from and these are my little green onions that I started from seed which are doing pretty good so uh, done quite a bit since last week for me considering uh, what all I've had to get, else I've had to do so uh, and move on to uh, okay, tomatoes. So we'll talk a little bit about the tomatoes and the update. This tomato here was the uh, two liter hydroponic. He was transplanted into a five gallon bucket um, four days ago. This one here is its mate that was in the two liter. Um, both of these are brandy wines. And uh, here is my boxcar Willie. He was transplanted last night and he's going through his initial shock of having five times as much soil to play in as normal and um, and the soil difference, soil change. Um, learned lots from people that I subscribe to and their videos I watch and uh, there's a gentleman you might well know up in uh, Canada and he's growing his potatoes indoors. Uh, you can go down and uh, I have trouble with his name so I'm hesitant to say it but you can go down and uh, see in my subscriptions he's definitely there his name starts with a J um, Praxis you can help me out if you watch his video uh, he seemed to pronounce it pretty good but uh, he uses 50% compost and 50% uh, potting soil for his potatoes and they seem to do great indoors so I'm trying to do that as well and hopefully it works just as well for tomatoes um, they're in smart pots. I'm trying that out. I bought those at a hydroponic store, and it's supposed to. They're they're actually made out of cloth. It's kind of like a felt cloth, and it's porous. Uh, when the roots get to the end of the pot, they'll stop. Instead of seeing no air or not getting air or light or anything like that, because they'll get a little bit of both, they'll stop growing and they'll just put off shoots. And uh, so it's supposed to grow out laterally and not get itself up in a round ball of roots like you would in a plastic container so we'll find out I guess my lights just kicked off um, the hydroponic tomato had uh, some issues with its transplant I tried to use a little bit of tap water bubbled out uh, a little bit of uh, ice mountain spring water and one gallon of distilled water. The Ice Mountain spring water was kind of interesting because the pH on that was 7.8 so it was uh, not at neutral <clears throat> which I didn't expect it to be but I wasn't you know sure which way it would go but uh, it was alkaline. The tap water was very high it was 8 point something so I had to knock it down total dissolved solids in the tap water here in southwestern Ohio was I believe it was 180 where I've been using total dissolved solids of zero and then I know exactly how much nutrients I'm putting in so I uh, put one basic teaspoon of nutrients for each gallon of water and that's what I used but apparently with the uh, whatever bit of chlorine and other items in the tap water uh, it was a shock to it and it actually started turning the roots a little brown even though I bubbled the water out 
rather well for a couple days. It still turned it brown, but like I said, it's been used to distilled water, so I'm not sure if anybody knows maybe what kind of uh, effect that has. Uh, I know if you bubble it out and you just go with the tap water, you usually have no problems. The, the plant's fine with it. That's all it's used to, but I think it was the shock of going from as pure as water as I could find to um, trying to cut back on the cost a little bit. So uh, she's starting to recover. I'm getting some white roots running out of it all over uh, down the water. But I plan on doing a uh, nutrient change here within uh, well, hopefully by the weekend. So we'll see if she picks up. But I'm hesitant to give another shock to the system. Uh, these two are going to need a little bit more soil. Um, I had trimmed off the lower branches that were going yellow after the, the suckers started coming out. So uh, I want to give them time to heal up and everything. And I don't want to put any more shock to it. I, I trimmed them up and gave them days before I transplanted. And um, so give that time to heal some more. And uh, add some more dirt. And... Uh, Hopefully everything will be good for it. So these are just getting, I am still watering this with distilled water. After the shock of the hydroponic, I was a little bit hesitant. So um, I may try some that are just unbubbled tap water and see how they do uh, and from young age on up instead of, you know, trying it later. So that was probably a mistake. So um, if anybody has any information on that, know why I did that. If uh, or if you think that's why it did that, if I was right, uh, let me know. I'm kind of uh, curious and was a little bit worried about it. And please don't make fun of my temporary light setup. It's uh, I had to hang them this way to get the light this close to each plant, but I don't have a light set up for the tall one right now. So until I get that set up, here's what I'm stuck with. And then these are all going to move into another room and... Um, I'm just going to hang the lights off the ceiling. It's a drop ceiling. I've got the clips to hang the lights with. So um, eventually, uh, everything will be sorted out. And if I get the rest of my shelves, then I'll be to the point where I'm just concentrating on messing with the plants and not moving everything around all the time. So uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, let me know if you have any information on this. Thanks.